peace. Islam. Shikamaga Alamasi Eel. Coming at y'all live. Deep, deep, deep down. Alamasi Arabian country. Coming at y'all live from Alabama. Or the so called Alabama. But we know it's Alabama. And uh, coming at y'all from the historic district of Latahatchee. You know, we already know that Latahatchee is an old Mekasuki. Muslim word, Mar Moorish Barbary, Barbary word, you know what I'm saying? Because the whole demonstration of government down south in the Midwest and everything, the Mississippian government was Barbary. It was Muslim law. Muslim law was running everything. <laughs> and they, you know, they, they'll tell you that in so many ways, if you really do the knowledge to the history, um, that all of the treaties, like when they say the United States signed the Indian treaties, again, we're going to, we're going to beat this into everybody's head. All it meant was, in a certain territory, Muslim control, a Mos the Muslim government was going to cease to exist, or it was gonna, or it was gonna be a, have a hands-off policy for non-Muslims and non-Yahudi. Meaning, we wasn't just going, you know, there was gonna be, uh, you know, there were these these people who were the settler population who was coming in, and some of these people who weren't really blood with us, they were gonna have some type of protection. So you couldn't just, like in, in, in the prior times when it was just, when they'll say, oh, this is Indian country or Mekasuki country, which is just more country. A settler had no, a, a so-called settler or like one of these new, and again, not knocking religion, but a lot of these people coming with this new type of Christian demonstration, they had no rights. You know what I'm saying? They literally, because on the old Muslim law, you would just get, literally, you're just going to get slapped around. You have no rights. It's kind of like how in the Jim Crow era. They kind of reversed that same situation on our people in the Jim Crow era where they was like, what you looking at, boy, and all. You know, most of our people didn't go for it. Don't believe all the fake narrative. But, you know, when they put the Hollywood narrative out there, and this did happen to a lot of people because a lot of towns, again, they were able to surround a lot of our, the old towns after the Civil War. <laughs> you know, when you got a town surrounded, and, and we can't, you know, back way back in the, in the old times, in the antebellum era, the towns were still spread out. But you mess with one, we were confederated. So you mess with one town with that nonsense, we putting the call out. You know what I'm saying? Like they couldn't just come in our towns with the nonsense in the old, in the antebellum era. You know what I mean? Because we would call up the homies. <laughs> we would call up our, we would call up the other Muslims from the other towns. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, you can do the knowledge to the old Creek towns, the old Tesalagi, Cherokee towns. They'll always talk about towns. It was a confederation of towns, cities and districts and stuff like that. And we, if we had problems, <laughs> you know, we would call up the homies. It ain't no different from now. And they couldn't really deal with us when we were on that. You know what I'm saying? It, think about think about it like this. Because again, a lot of our people in in these days, uh, after the, a lot of the terrorism that went on in the old Barbary country, uh, post 1865, they were running our people out of our rule and out, a lot of the towns they were surrounded and they were running people off their land and all that. So a lot of people, you know, they moved into these kind of these cities, and which is kind of where they want a lot of our people to go because they needed our to build their little to build their little industrial demonstration in the beginning, they need a lot of our people's expertise and, and carpentry skills and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, they need a lot of the people for labor or whatever they needed. You know what I'm saying? So they you know they really wanted some of our people to get to these little industrial zones up north and all that stuff. And then they needed us to come off to, to give up a lot of the old, you know, the, you know, industries we had in the South, the old technology and all of that. You know, they had to get us, they had to run people up out of that so they could take it over and industrialize it. Because the only difference the technology, the industry has always been here. But again, in the old noble culture, it was free mercantile and it was holy. So you couldn't just, everything was protected and local. There was no mass corporate, like everybody can buy this type of deal. Everybody can get access. It wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? That's, it was all blood. The special people, it was holy. You had to earn the right to get access to some of this technology. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a meritocratic culture. You just, like in a corporate culture, everybody can get it. You can be a dang on goofy, you know what I'm saying? A, a dang on leper, hunt, hunk back a Notre Dame looking, looking goofball and go buy whatever type of technology you want. It wasn't like that in the old days. You know what I'm saying? You was a goofy, a, a leprous, looking looking lame, looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't you wasn't fitting the mold. Like you, you you wasn't just well put together and noble. You There's certain stuff you couldn't get access to. It just That's just how it was. And these corporate goofy new people settlers they hate that type of culture because they know it's just not in them to be noble the nobles used to get everything you had to work to be noble you had to put in the work to be noble we had to train and keep our children from birth how to be noble how to deserve to live that high technology how to deserve to live that high holy high high paradise type of life how to live above all the nonsense how to live in a castle how to be a knight 
You know what I'm saying? That's the old Southern culture. The Southern Knights. You know what I'm saying? They talking about the Southern Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. They took that from the moles, man. It's always been knights all in the South. But they had to get the holy ones up out of here because, you know, again, in a meritocratic, holy, noble culture, these goofballs, corporate peak type of people, they have no they have no chance to hell. They're always gonna be at the bottom of that type of culture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why they call them the Slavs, the slaves, whatever. They can't they can't earn it. They can't earn it like we can. That's just not in them. You know what I'm saying? But it's in the blood of the Mississippi. That's why. And peace to Crumb TV for putting this out there. Because this is real, real. Back in the back in the old days, prior to like the 60s or whatever, all the Mississippian people, they called each other blood. You know what I'm saying? Young blood. Whatever that was, that was the old way because that's inherent in our DNA. Because we we understand in the old culture everything was based on blood. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to have it in your blood. You just had to have it in you. It had to be in you, not on you, to rise to the top. You know what I'm saying? And our, our people, we've been born that way because we we were noble. So we always called each other blood because we understood bloodline. Well, well, you know whether you're con whether they were conscious or not, that's just something that was carried over into the into this new modern goofball stuff they got going on right now. You know what I'm saying? But understand, Lettohatchee, Lettohatchee, that's an old Muslim district in so-called Al Alabama or Al Alabama. Now it's Lowndes County, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you have Montgomery County, all these counties and all that. Again, these are these are the European or the new industrialist corporate type of demonstration taking our old Muslim demonstration, our old organizational skills, and just t changing names up, changing everything over to their frequency that they can manage. Because they need to be able to do their thing, not right or wrong, but that's just how it, that's just what it was. But Latahatchee, old Muslim district, you know what I'm saying, and Latahatchee to this day is still 71% Mississippian out here. Don't get it messed up. So why why would it be 71% Mississippian with a name like Latahatchee? That just lets you know, you know what I'm saying. That just lets you know what your history is. But we're gonna read this marker and we're gonna talk about kind of the terrorism. <laughs> and what really happened with all the lynch? It's a lynch. This 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 uh, market says lynching in Latahatchee, and we're gonna kind of get away. One thing about this, the lynching thing, we're gonna get away from this fake communist, old black black people had it so bad type of type of nonsense because all that is is a co-opt. They don't want to talk about the real what really went down with a lot of these lynchings and how it was basically a a, 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 a military campaign to get a lot of the old owners, the old nobles, the old sheiks all of these people to get them out of the way so they could take over the technology the industry the land the farming the cotton the cotton farms and everything we already was running and getting and getting money with you know what i'm saying we just kept the money within our culture they couldn't get with that they couldn't come in our culture and take the money and tax us and all that because you would just get slapped up you know what i'm saying you would get them things put on you the muslims didn't play you know what i'm saying and, and you know and you can and, and to this day a lot of times when you just be yourself and, and you carry that and you carry that power and you don't care, you know, you we all know we've all had these experiences. A lot of these other nation, nationalities, these other people, they just can't get on your level. You know what I'm saying? That's why they had to, again, they had to bring you down. They had to bring you down to their level. You had to be European, you know, acting and all of that. And European does not have a color associated with it. Not like the fake corporate schools tell us. But they had to make you more European and more peasant-like and less noble for them to even come around you. And they had to they had to get rid of a lot of your old architecture and all of that. Demolish your buildings and build square, more peasant type of structures so they can even exist around you. You know what I'm saying? Like everything they have it's all about it's all about controlling the frequency. So that's just kind of what we're trying to. But we're gonna kind of display what lynching, so-called lynching. All of the, all of the so-called racial terrorism and all of that, and, and the Jim Crow, so-called Jim Crow South. We're gonna to start to expose what that was really about. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't even necessarily racial. Like that, race is a new communist Marxist word that they just started pushing. It was, <clears throat> it was a usurping of a whole entire nation. <laughs> it was a military campaign against a nation. That's all it was. It's, it's nation on nation. It's warfare. There ain't no dang old lynching black people and all. That's 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 cap, man. You gotta start putting everything into the proper context of what it really was, because they don't want you to know that you actually had a nation. You know what I'm saying a superior, militarily, you know, militarily superior and all that nation on this land. You know what I'm saying? It just, again, you know, we lost, we lost the Civil War. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so we're gonna check this marker out. We're gonna read this marker and then break it down. So uh, 
Atlanta Hatchet. It's an old Muslim district, Atlanta Hatchet, right? Uh, the marker says, lynching in Atlanta Hatchet. In 1900, a white mob lynched a black man in Atlanta Hatchet, Alabama, without investigation or trial after he was accused of killing a white man, okay? All these killings of black people were common at that at the time, and allegations against, excuse me, black people were rarely subject to scrutiny. After the lynching, a local black man named Jim Cross condemned the violence. Soon, soon that activism made him a target. On March 3rd, 1900, a mob of white men shot and killed Jim Cross in the doorway of his Latahatchee home. So Jim Cross, so-called Mississippian in Latahatchee, that's an old Muslim district, don't get it messed up, in his Latahatchee home. And then entered and killed Mr. Cross's wife, son, and daughter. So these people will kill your whole family, man. These, these are some terrorists. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just keep it a book. See, one thing about the old Muslim law, like, we, we you know, we might have bagged you up. We might kill, you know, we might kill you. You know what I'm saying? We might bag you up, arrest you, put you in bondage, beat you upside the head for being out of bounds. But we, you know, we would, we wouldn't kill whole families and stuff like that. We would take them as slaves or take them as prisoners and let them kind of grow up in the community and all that. Like, if they wanted to take shihada, convert over to Muslim law, we would actually take them in. You know what I'm saying, but these people are just, they'll just kill your whole family. These are some, these are some dang on terrorists, man. And it ain't, it's not racial or anything like that, but these are some animals, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't care because again, they are just eternally frustrated that they can't be the Mississippian people. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So anyway, so Mr. Rice, Mr. Cross's wife, son, and daughter, uh, they killed them. So no one was ever arrested for these lynchings. Years later, on July 24th, 1917, Something else happened in 1970. That was when World War I was going on. We got to do the knowledge to that. But 1917, William Powell and his brother, whose name was reported as Samuel or Jesse, were lynched, were also lynched in Latahatchee. Some white newspapers claimed the brothers were wanted for a highway robbery, but more detailed reports indicated that the young black man had merely been insolent <laughs> to a white farmer after brushing against his horse on the road. After an argument erupted, the Powell brothers were arrested, seized by a mob of 100 white men and hung from a tree along the road between Latahatchee and Hainville. No one was punished. These seven men and women lynched in Latahatchee, Alabama, were victims of racial terrorism that aimed to restore white supremacy, denying black people the rights of citizenship and protection of law. Okay. First of all, we're going to shut all this racial terrorism mess down, man, and this white supremacy. That's just, just cap, man. That's a Marxist recreated version of history. You know what I'm saying? There was not no racial terrorism. I mean, in a way it was, but it was not no racial terrorism. What what was really going on here was <clears throat> these these so-called settlers. You know what I'm saying? These are these are relatively newcomers. Some of them might have been here, but you had to come and deal with the black and white demonstration. And a lot of people, and then you had a lot of light skinned old Muslims themselves that could just pass. So, you know, if you wanted to keep anything in the so-called United States, they had their little caste system, this new caste system they came up with, where the lighter you were, and if you could pass for Caucasian, that was supposed to be this eugenic, according to eugenics, that was some, some, some superior race or something like that. So people just went over to that demonstration, you know what I'm saying, to keep what they had. Everybody wasn't necessarily so-called, you know what I'm saying, all the way Caucasian. <laughs> was, but anyway, what was really going on was, they, they, they were, again, they were trying to industrialize the South. That's you know what I'm saying. That's why to this day, to this day, you have so many of these towns that used to be prosperous, but now they're abandoned. But a lot of these southern towns have still have majority Mississippian populations because the same people are there. These towns were just surrounded and squeezed for so many years. Now everything, them, all the industries and everything, them is shipped overseas. That they squeezed out of these little places. The old industries, the old, you know, the old mining operate. We always had all that stuff, but they took all that stuff and then they just left. And these towns are, are just sitting here. You know what I'm saying? With no, in, with no, not a lot of jobs and people, are, but the people who've always been here are still here. <laughs> that's why they don't have. That's why the towns, a lot of these towns, are devastated because they got surrounded and squeezed. People, new people came in when they were done raiding the land, they left. You know what I'm saying? But what was going on with a lot of these lynchings and all of this stuff? Well, first of all, you got to understand in the old South, our people were running the old South. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we, like people, Mississippian, light skin, dark skin, whatever. Were in control in the antebellum era because the South was Muslim and Yahudi. Look at the garbs. You know what I mean? So in the old South, people like this who were doing all this new terrorism and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like they understood that. 
they knew back in the day that they would they were the ones who was getting slapped around. You know what I'm saying? Back in the old South. You know what I mean? Like they they knew that. So so these people after the war, after you know what I'm saying, they they were able to they was like, okay, it's our turn to do the same to the to the moles, to the Moors. You know what I'm saying? Like we gon' you know what I mean? So they can't they got a stream with it because they knew back in the day they would get slapped around in the antebellum south and the old creek nation and all that like you look at them more the wrong way or say the wrong thing you just gonna get slapped up that's just how it was that's why they don't like that's why they hated us you know what i'm saying <laughs> but it's funny because you gonna hate me but you all trying to come up in my territory you know what i'm saying if like if you hate me so much and you don't want to be around me and all that why you keep trying to come in my turf you know what i'm saying why you trying to try come come at me and get mad when i got in, when i'm enforcing my laws in my in my country but you want to keep coming around where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? It's just these people are just insane. But anyway, so they were, uh, when they were enforcing these laws, these so-called Jim Crow laws where you couldn't look at a so-called white person the wrong way or whatever, this is these people, this is these people just basically getting back at us for how for how they got treated in the antebellum era. You know what I'm saying? Like they were, so, okay, so you had a, you had a, you might've had a settler who came down here and he may, he may have even, he may have even been around but prior to the, you know, prior to the war or whatever. And he just remembered that if I would have went into so-called Indian town or Indian so-called Moorish district with that nonsense back in them days, I was finna get them things put on me. So guess what? Now, when some, when some so-called Moor, these new, these new so-called Negroes that we done created, if they look at me wrong, I'm going, I'm going to act a damn fool. And if I can't handle that person myself, I'm finna call up, <laughs> I'm finna call up the authorities or the KKK or I'm finna call my, my so-called white homies up. And we gonna handle this fool, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm getting back at him for treating me bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all it was. Ain't no racial terrorism and no black. We were so helpless and all that. I mean, the only the only reason why they were able to do these things because they'll tell you that Lowndes County was majority Mississippian, even you know after the war and everything. Cause this is our old turf. You know what I'm saying? But they were able to bring these people in here and do all this stuff because they had, first of all, they had shut down the militias, the federal occupation. You know what I'm saying? They had they had cut a lot of the they had cut a lot of our people uh, travel methods and stuff off, so they could surround these places. So even if you had a so-called majority Mississippian town, it was literally surrounded. They they had control of new, like the forts and all that stuff now, so they could dispatch their little their little goons and all these people to run up on us, and we couldn't we couldn't call our homies no more like we used to be able to. So they were able to do these type of things even in the majority Mississippian areas because it was surrounded. It was cut off from the help. Back in the day, we could go, we could go down to the Gulf Coast, we could go down to Mexico. People want to trip on us. We had reinforcements. When we were cut off, they could come in the majority area with us and just do whatever they wanted to do. We would, some people would shoot back and all that, but it's only so much you can do when you're surrounded. I mean, it is what it is. When you're under siege, it's only so much you can do. So that's what happened. It was just warfare. They were taking it back. They were trying to take your stuff so they could industrialize. And that's what they did. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what they did. They took your stuff, industrialized, and then they got the hell on. You know what I'm saying? And now all the industries are stolen and, and in different countries and all of that. And America is going down. These people raided America. And they used these, they used these people who thought they were some some white. They used these people who took that demonstration at that time to start, you know, to, to protect the industrialization. So it was really all a play to 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 get you to. It was really like a lot of the terrorism. And all of the violence and all of that, the Jim Crow era, the KKK, the race riots. Anybody who wanted to stick up their loyal titles, anybody who were kind of had that Muslim spirit still, it wasn't finna take no mess. They came up with these new laws with white supervision and you couldn't look at a, you know what I'm saying? You had to pretty much treat these people as equals or better than you. And you know, our people ain't going for it. You know, it's in the blood, blood, not to go for that. So yeah, you know, you they, 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 it just said here that the brother... Uh, he was insolent to a white farmer or whatever. You know, and, and we, we know who these people, we know who these people ain't in our, in our turf, they ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? So this brother just, he was just being himself. He's like, man, get out of my way. What the hell you looking at me for? That's just how we are. But in that time, they got tired of that. They knew how it was in the old South. They knew that, you know what I'm saying? A real nigga, a real red stick. I mean, you just can't, bro, we gonna check you. We gonna chump you off. You know what I'm saying? So in that era, when they had us surrounded and under siege, they were like, oh, you being a nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, you the Indian coming, that so-called Indian, the more coming back out of you. You know what I mean? So we gonna check that. You look at me wrong. Oh yeah, I'm calling up, you know what I'm saying? Just like they'll call, like a lot of these clowns, you know, these settler people, they will call the police and carrying out on you now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the same thing that went on in Jim Crow. They were just getting back. They was like, oh, we got some power. And these, these, these Negro, you know, these wild Moors can't just do whatever they want to do to us no more. So we gonna, you know, we gonna mess them up. And 
we since since the industrialists are using us to be the goon squad, man, we gonna get because we don't like these moors and they treated us bad. We gonna get back at them. We like being the tools for the industrialists. And a lot of these clowns these days, they did all that. <laughs> they went against the Muslims. You know, what I'm saying it helped shut down the South and all that, and, and the whole country really. And now they complain, talking about they want their republic back. But they're but you know, what I'm saying some of their ancestors were sitting up here helping to shut down the old republic because they was mad at the Moors. You know what I mean? So now. Y'all got to understand that the only way it's coming back is the moles got to get back involved. You know what I'm saying? So if you hate, like, this is one thing. If you hate Islam and you hate Muslims and all of that, not no some Islam Muslims, Sunni Muslims from the Middle East and all that, that has nothing to do with the Islam in America. You know what I'm saying? But if you hate Muslims and you hate Islam, the real Islam, you're not American. Let's, let's just get that out there. Because the Americans was, the real Americans was Muslims. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just what it was. And Yahudi. The Christian, the Christian, the so-called Christian demonstration is European. It's not from here. It's not indigenous to here. Not knocking it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got the right to get to their God. But it's not American. So if you hate Islam now, in this day and age we in now, you got a problem with Islam, you are not American. Let's just put that on out there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just doing the knowledge to Latahatchee. You know what I'm saying? Latahatchee, old Muslim district, old Muslim town. You know what I'm saying? And how these new settlers and, and clowns was up here tripping on the old Moors. And, and we just want to put the lynching thing in perspective. Because, uh, again, all that all it was was industrialization. And these new people who just came to power through the eugenics and the whole, you know, the whole, um, the whole white league and all that stuff that just, just got formed and all of that. You know what I'm saying? In 1854 and all to do the knowledge to clock of destiny with CM Bay. It breaks all that down. But these are just people who newly got some little form of sway in, in an old Muslim turf in the rest of the country. They just acting, they just showing their ass. This is what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, just putting that all in perspective. And then, this is very interesting. Again, when you see goofball stuff like Equal, equal Justice Initiative and all of that, that's that Marxist comment. That's, that, that's these people trying to usurp history. Not to call it, they don't want to call it what it really was. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to call it. They don't want to call it, um... Like they don't want to call it like it was just straight up warfare and the usurpation of the old of the Ma of Muslim turf and, and trying to turn the Muslim and trying to turn people with that Muslim spirit into these new Negroes. That's all you know what I'm saying. That's all the terrorism was about. If you acted like an old Muslim, you didn't take no stuff. They was just coming at you, man. It just is what it is. But listen, we don't. No, nobody wants no sympathy or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying it was just warfare. It is what it is. That's what we're gonna start calling it. We're not gonna be. We don't need nobody to feel sorry for us crying about reparations and all that. We just. We're going to call it what it is. It was warfare. You know what I'm saying? We took losses. We gave them losses for a long time. We took losses. It is what it is. Just accept it for what it is and quit crying. You know what I'm saying? All that communist, Marxist, civil rights, not, quit all the crying. Accept, accept what really happened. Just warfare. You know what I mean? So anyway, peace from uh, Latahatchee. And we're going to do the knowledge. One more thing. Interestingly enough, we just talked about the missionary churches. Okay. Let's see if you can see that. In Latahatchee now, this is old Muslim church, and they got this missionary church. They are all over the place in this land. Again, the missionary church demonstration. There were no missionary, and again, why would they call it a missionary church? You know what I'm saying? If they weren't converting somebody, missions are known to be where they try to convert somebody from one religion to another. So why, when you ride around the South, you see all these missionary churches? Well, what would it, what, why were they needing to be missionary churches? You know what I'm saying? Because the South, the old, the Majority of the Mississippians in the South were Old Testament and Muslim. You know what I'm saying? They had to convert us to this new stuff. Again, the missionary AME church movement started in this Northeast. It started up in New York in that area. It's not indigenous to the South, but they got them everywhere now. But they got this missionary church. You know what I'm saying? Right, right on this marker. It's very interesting. So they will put this marker trying to blacken up history with a missionary church. You know what I'm saying? Like, it all makes sense, man. Just do the knowledge. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So missionary churches, they were converting the Muslims. They, they forced it on you. Put you in them war camps, prison camps, contraband camps, re-education schools. And, and again, in this old turf, you would have saw a temple or a mosque somewhere around here prior to 1865. Now it's all churches. That's, for, that's military occupation. That's forced conversion. But anyway, just doing the knowledge. I'll tap back in with y'all later. Peace.